Hey guys, today we are going to unbox, scrutinize, and do a quick test of the air fryer from Kind to see if what sets this apart from other air fryers in the market. Kind is one of the manufacturers and distributor brand of home appliances from Malaysia. According to their website, they offer best quality appliances to homes both in Malaysia and in more than 60 countries around the world. It is good to see that the product was packed very nicely. Two boxes mean that it can be protected from dents which was evident on the outer box earlier. In addition, the air fryer is well wrapped in plastic and sandwiched between two thick styrofoams to avoid any scratches or damage to it during transit. The features of the Kind ARF9500 includes a large transparent viewing window with internal oven light, one-touch rotisserie function, a digital display with touch sensor control programmable functions which includes six preset programs, high-speed air circulation technology for less oil and healthy cooking, and rust-free SUS304 stainless steel mesh frying basket. The ARF9500 weighs 7 kilograms and produces a power between 1,400 to 1,650 watts and with a capacity of 9.5 liters, which means that a small to medium-sized whole chicken should fit in just right. In the box, it also has the instruction manual and the warranty card. It also comes with a free recipe booklet, rotisserie, basket, and one-year limited warranty. The items that came with the air fryer includes two stainless steel mesh frying basket, one rotisserie basket, one rotisserie rod and holder, one stainless steel tray, and a non-stick drip tray. I can't help but compare the air fryer to a standard electric oven due to its aesthetics where the door has a window just like how a convection oven is. Though in this case, the door and window is made out of plastic. Now time to put the air fryer to the test. One of our favorite fried foods is chicken skin cracklings. So to test this air fryer, we will cook chicken skin cracklings and see if it comes close to a deep fried version of the dish. Here we are making two parts. One part we will season it with just salt and pepper, while the other we will use a regular chicken breading. The reason behind this is for me to see if the air frying is better with just salt and pepper or with the use of breadings. I've lined up the chicken skins in a single tray where the left are the ones with salt and pepper while the right has the breading. To cook the cracklings, I inserted it in the lowest rack of the air fryer. The air fryer has six preset menus for baking, chips, toast, chicken, fish, and one that is called multi. All of these presets can be reprogrammed if needed. For this test, I'm cooking the cracklings on chicken preset, which is at 180 degrees for 20 minutes without preheating the air fryer. This is also for me to get to know the air fryer and see if I would need preheating in the future. Five minutes have passed and so far it looks to be promising. I observed the fat dripping off from the chicken and on a closer look, we can see the chicken skin being fried on its own fat. Sound like a duck confit, right? This could be the best feature of the air fryer. Having a window to monitor your food while it's cooking without the need to open it, which may lead to loss of heat. Compared to a conventional air fryer which doesn't have any window, where you would need to open up the tray and see if it is already cooked or not. Looking closely, more fats have accumulated in the dripping tray. You can even see a pool of bubbles going in a vortex-like manner in the middle, which I believe is due to the high-speed air circulation feature of air fryers. The air fryer is really noisy due to the fan spinning at high speeds. Surprisingly, it's not that hot to the touch while it's cooking. It does get warm though on some areas especially where the vents are. As soon as the timer reaches zero, it gives a beeping sound where the heater has shut off but the motor still works continuously until the internal temperature reaches 120 degrees Celsius to avoid the appliance from overheating. 
The light in the air fryer is only on one side and could have been better if another light was added. Now time to take the cracklings out of the air fryer. Visually they are fried to perfection. The fats from the chicken skins were rendered and dripped away from the skin. I just wish that it came with a non-stick frying basket since some of the chicken have stick to the basket though it's not a big deal since they still came off easily. With regards to the chicken skin cracklings, the ones cooked with salt and pepper shrunk more compared to the ones covered with breading. This could be due to the reason that they don't contain flour so they shrunk more. Though overall both tasted great and really crispy. The air fryer did a really good job with the chicken skin cracklings and I believe this is due to the chicken skins having fat on them helped in frying and producing the crispy texture. I have yet to try it with other foods such as french fries or fish and see how it goes. The air fryer has rendered so much fat from the chicken skin that when transferred to a bowl it almost filled it up. Overall, the air fryer has done a great job producing chicken skin cracklings and I can safely say that the price is worth it especially with the size and extra features that it has. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to get notified with new videos in the future.